Welcome to Tiger Wolf. I'm Josh, and this is David. Please be aware, this podcast contains strong language and spoilers. So today we're going to talk about one of the, what I would consider from what I've seen and and played, biggest, um, we're not going to give up comebacks of video games, period. Not that that would happen often, but it doesn't happen often. And that would be, dun, 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 No Man's Sky. Um, obviously, like the most of you will know that there was a huge upset when it was released because there was um, borderline none of the things that they promised. Yeah, I actually picked it up at launch and I played a little bit of it and it was not what we were promised at all. Um, and, and I completely up- understand the upset over that. I got it on sale like a week after that because who's going to want to buy this game type of thing. And uh, so Steam had like a sale on it and whatnot. Um, they then, shortly after, from what I saw, had basically launched their roadmap map for we're going to fucking fix it, guys. We swear. And have delivered hmm. for many of that, for much of that. Oh, so you're saying that they actually did what a game developer is supposed to do when they fuck up? Well, um, yes. <laughs> I mean, it depends. Like, there's a certain level of cut your losses. This is a business type of thing. But being as this was a new company, they had a, they had a choice here. Yeah, and it this was, was a make or break thing, right? Like, if if I do this, if I if I don't do this, then I have no place in this industry anymore because nobody's going to fucking hire me. So let me put it so that people, let me make it so that people will want me. And let me make it so that people will want my future products. Okay. So like it is, it is very much not a, um, we gave up, fuck off statement. Like we may have seen from other larger developers. I don't know if larger is the right word. I don't know exactly how large. Bioware is, or maybe EA would be the option there. They're the ones seemingly pulling the strings. So, all right. Well, I mean, there's a big difference here. You blame the puppeteer, not the puppet, right? Hello Games makes games. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, ah, well, at least fired. they've made. They, at least they've made one. At this point, it, I would say it is a game for an indie developer. In a lot of ways, I would understand if they considered this feature complete. That said, they just announced recently that they have another big update coming after having gone a a, um, a few months, I think, since their last big update mm-hmm. of doing smaller updates every other week, I think it was. Yeah, like they're they're clearly committed to this. Um, one of the That's good at least, and I mean, they're doing like community event things and. All sorts. It's not just the fact that they added exo, uh, what they're called, exo crafts um, to the game where you can drive around and have additional storage too. Because they have a lot of storage, actually. I'm a little disappointed with how much it kind of, like, I have an issue with how little I can hold in my spaceship in comparison to the exo craft. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just got like an upgraded spaceship i still have a few spots i have to repair on it yeah um because they're expensive but it costs a lot of materials and i don't feel like farming them right now essentially um that's the other thing like there's i don't know i haven't really gotten into like the base building and the other stuff farming you can do with that yes actual agriculture farming you can hire people Uh, and stuff like that and i want to get more into that stuff i just don't know how to breach it and there's no there hasn't been a clear way on what i'm supposed to do there other than like collect things to increase my blueprints um so i might i'll probably look at the wiki and and see how to do that um and that's that is one of my gripes there's still a lot of things like that where it's like i know i can do this i know there's things for this in this game but how there are 
but how do I get there? And does the loosely guided, which is better than it was, the quest line is like yeah. the whole beginning thing. It makes more sense now than it did because at first you were just like, boom, you're on a planet, fix your ship. Yeah. And the, not even like really told how to fix your ship. Nope. Now it's like you need to do this. You need to find this because you're you're in a hazardous environment. You need to find this. Like it, it walks you through those baby steps first so that you know what the fuck you're doing and don't just fucking die because you're on a toxic planet or something like that and your life support uh, is going slowly down. And I wandered around way too much before I decided to do something about that, but I didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fair. Well, there's things you can do. Like you can get one, you can get in your ship. Which will protect you from like the acid rain or what have you. Yeah. The, um, I think when I started, I was on a uh, basically Hoth. Oh, really? I started like three times before these big updates made these changes to like the quest and that. And I had like the same type of planet every time, which was just like your standard, you can live here planet. I think I started on Hoth, basically like a Hoth planet. Uh, I have been to one for a planet. very long time ago. Uh, actually I actually had a quest to take a picture of a frozen planet. Huh. I have a little bit of a gripe there. I'm playing on PC with a controller because then I can sit on my couch comfortably and play it. Yeah. This is a very visual game, so like I like to play it on my TV. Um, there's no way to take a picture with the controller because you're supposed to use the Xbox button, and that doesn't do squat. Hmm. So I have to click my wireless mouse to take the picture, which usually makes it jitter. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, but I mean, like, I don't have a big use for the picture thing other than when there's a quest anyway. I'm not really a screenshot guy. Yeah. So um, it's not that big of an issue. I will say that there's a lot to go as far, as far as some things. Like, they added rings for planets. Fucking cool. Those rings aren't astro- actually asteroid belts, though. Like, there's asteroids, but the rings are just rings. Ah. Like, you get closer, and they don't turn into asteroids as you get closer. You know what I mean? Mm. Which would have been appropriate and cool yeah um also it's still like a skybox for like the sun and stuff like that it's not actually a a, a, a an, an entity orb. uh in the in the in the galaxy the planets don't move things like that mm-hmm. um and th- those are like understandable leaps difficulties and and like i can understand technically making a planet move without also destroying everything on the planet from physics it's difficult. Like, how do you how do you make those rules in a video game? Like that that's got to be hard. Yeah. Um. Especially in a in a game that initially didn't have it. Like, I don't know if that phys- I don't know if physics engine they're using. Are they using CryEngine? I think they're using CryEngine. So, like, the physics engine on it can probably handle it. They just need to figure out how to do it. Which is more than likely something on their roadmap. Like at this point, from what I've seen, I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, I read on Reddit this list of uh, all the things we have now that. We didn't have in the beginning originally. that they had promised. And like over half of that list is now checked off or at least somewhat checked off. Like there are fleets now. They're not necessarily as big or as interactive as was promised, mm-hmm. but they are there. So technically I mean, that's a, like a semi there. check. Yeah. Um, I landed on a freighter recently and the captain was willing to sell it to me. I just didn't have 10 million units. Oh. Yeah. I have to remember what the fuck I sold recently because I have two million right now because I just sold I sold some stuff and it was like bank <laughs> ching um, yeah. what I think it was stuff that I technically oh yeah it was stuff I found like in like um that you can just find from like certain chests and stuff like that mm-hmm. chests uh, I played too many RPGs uh you know the things you can search yeah searchable objects where you can get potentially rare things and also quests that you do which actually that's probably where they came from. Was uh, so there's like guild thing that you can go get missions from and go do the missions. A lot of them are kill three sentinels, kill f- fifteen animals, kill, uh, you know, yeah, that type of thing, or collect this for person. Go drop it off here, um, which would be like uh, two hundred paraffiniums, which is a mineral. Yeah, but um, that's literally one I had was two hundred paraffiniums. I found a plant that had a bunch of paraffinium. Got well more than I needed because I needed it for also repairing my ship a little bit. So I got a ton there, dropped off the 200, went back and got like three, uh, fuck it called, some type of engine things that I use for technology that's way beyond what I can do right now. Mm-hmm. So I fucking sold them. <laughs> 
I mean, <laughs> I sold I sold them for like half a million dollars because it was like I got three of those and I had three from a previous one, so I sold all those for like half a million dollars, and I was just like, cool, <laughs> cool. I don't need you guys yet. It, well, it's just like because there's um technology modules, and this one bugs me. There's as far as I understand it, there's no technically no way to just make technology mo- modules. Okay. I think there's a mineral you can get that you can refine them into technology modules, but I don't have the advanced uh, refiner. refiner in order to do that. Okay, I believe that. I believe that's how that works. I, I'd have to look it up again. But yeah, I mean, all in all, it's it's been enjoyable. And I know since you were somebody who uh, was kind of hyped about it, you may have some questions. So um, I'm going to give a little Q and A. If anybody here in the audience would like to. <laughs> answer have any qu- questions answered I can tell you that I am probably 20 hours into the game and have done squat what do you got for me so if <laughs> did they fix the issue with the it was one of the types of animals you'd hit it <coughs> with your little uh, mining tool and it would take off running Maybe this was just an issue I had. It would take off running and would every time run straight through the wall. So um, there does seem to be still an weird, issue like, with that. It's a gazelle thing. The, well, it doesn't, I mean, the animal doesn't matter. It's, and it's, it's not the animal itself that was the issue. Yeah. Uh, so there does seem to be that issue still remains. I've had predators and things that defend things attack me and run through minerals, like mineral rock formations at me. Which really sucks when I was using that to make them go around it to get to me, so I'd have more time to shoot them. And then all of a sudden, it's it's right there. <laughs> um, also, I can't dig a hole to run away from from anything because they can hit me through the the whole walls. Because while I'm not on the surface, they don't have the surface level to block them. Because mm. what? Because all that renders is what you can see, which is typical for games. So that that's that's a um. That's something they need to figure out a way to fix without the severe, uh, like lagging that it would cause to render that when you're not looking. Mm. Um, uh, and that includes sentinels and the dog sentinel things, as well as just random creatures that want to attack me. So I have like no way of getting away from them unless I go into an actual like cave formation or a structure. Uh, so it, it does rec- cave formation is kind of included in this. It recognizes that you're in a structure and mm. then doesn't allow them to attack you most okay. of the time. Not all of the time. <laughs> I have definitely gotten lasered on stairs in my own house. <laughs> oh, God, my leg! <laughs> um, which makes, I mean, it makes it challenging to, like, usually the best way to get away and the way, the best way to plan to get away is to jump in your ship and fly away. That's if you're fair. if you're out traversing and accidentally piss off the sentinels by attacking the animal that has already started attacking you, you know what that's called? Self defense. They don't care. Um, <laughs> no, no, they don't. Which uh, like I get that's like the whole purpose of the sentinels. Like they they they're there to protect that planet, its inhabitants, its plants, its minerals, or everything that's on that planet. So you're attacking this creature, even if it is in self-defense, you don't belong here. So you are the problem. Yeah. So um, how, how deep into the galaxy have you gone? Oh, I've only gone to like the second. <clears throat> uh, actually, the, uh, the next thing I was going, I was going to go to a third one. Then I went to the community event instead. Um, but I've only gotten to the second um, solar system after the first one I was in. Okay. I've done. I, I'm an explorer, so when I'm on a planet, I kind of forget what my purpose is and just wander a little bit because I like to collect the um the you've learned a word stones. Okay. The obelisk, um, whatever they're called. So did they add more to the space stations that you can go to instead of just a yeah, single? Like person? I said, they had the the guild guy. They have um the so each. Solar system is controlled by one of the races. 
I believe every solar system. I may be wrong. I've only been to two, so I don't have a whole lot on that. Yeah. But there's, and in one of the stations is like that race's person. Mm -hmm. Not that race's person. That race has a person there who like can give you missions for the race Mm -hmm. as a whole, which will help boost your your, um, standing with the race. Also, that guild person usually has their race type in there as well as those um, attack these, attack that. Collect these, whatever. Yeah. Um, also, there's stores. There's a guy who's, who, who's, who will sell you a new gun if you want to buy a new gun. He also sells technology for, not gun, the multi-tool. Yeah. He also sells technology for the multi-tool or blueprints for technology for the multi-tool. There's a guy for the spaceship for that, and there's one for the exosuit, too. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, they definitely... Yeah. Definitely branched it out a bit. And also that's, there's just nice. there's a lot more people standing around that you can just go talk to and like trade ten coppers to learn a new word from them or trade a hundred um laws. For yeah, for whatever, or do this or do that, or um what have you. Okay. Well, I mean it it's definitely it definitely sounds like they genuinely went and were trying to fix it compared to what it was when it was Initially launched. Oh, yeah. They're, they've added a ton. Like, base building in general. Not to mention all of the shit that they added for base building. No. Basically, you can... If you have the blueprints for it, you can make any of the types of space... The uh, bases that you've already seen and much more. Hmm. Okay. That's... Um, also, cool. there's a spot on every space station... That you can change your appearance on. You can That's look new. like a Gek. You can look like a Corvax. You can look like a Vikirin. Vikeen? Vikeen? I can't remember. I haven't met any of them yet in this playthrough. Mm-hmm. Um, they're not all mixed anymore like they were either. Um, because the Vikeen are very like warlike. Yeah. So like they're and them and I think the Corvax. Like, I think they had the Corvax as slaves for a while, or the Gex did, or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to jump into that, because I don't remember. I don't know enough of it. Also, every uh, space station has a teleporter. Okay. You can teleport between the space stations you've been to. Oh. And no, and teleporters that you make, and I assume find. I don't know. I haven't found one. But I've made one. And I can teleport between the two space stations I've been to and the two different solar systems Mm -hmm. and the one that's at my base. Nice. That's that's actually pretty cool. It's really helpful and your your ship automatically teleports with you. Also, on top of that, you can call your ship. So if you're out in the wilderness, as long as your ship has fuel in its uh, lift thrusters, Mm -hmm. it can come to you. That's... Oh, that would have been so nice. In the beginning. Oh, yes. Yes, it would. Oh, man. Getting lost on that swamp planet was... Ugh. Where the fuck is my ship? I mean, like I said, there's still a long way for it to go. And a lot of stuff I think they want to do. I don't know how much of it they'll be able to do. But I think their goal is to... Is to just knock it out one at a time. The way development works. You get you do this, you do that, you do this, you make sure it all works nice and fine with each other. You launch it, people tell you there's bugs, you go, bugs in my code, and then you go fix all the ninety thousand co- bugs you have. You're like, bugs? No. Why is that okay, maybe there's a bug. Everything worked fine when I did it the first time. <laughs> maybe there's a bug. That's why you test it thirty thousand times. That's why you have a team of people test it for you. <laughs> That's why you stress test things. We're not going into them right now. We have to wait until we at least play the game first. <laughs> I was leaning more towards a different MMO that I play, but okay. You mean the one that was garbage and then rebirthed itself? Uh-huh. I, uh, I mean, that was... That's actually the only other time I can think of a developer going, all right, look, um, we're sorry. We're going to fix it. Well, Final Fantasy X-2 was definitely not that. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like, we're sorry, we won't do it again. Yeah. I swear. <laughs> That's a, we don't talk about those. <laughs> Why not? 
Silence. We don't talk about that. It didn't happen. Oh, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> You're planning on 11 2? I mean, 12 2? 13 2? 13 2? That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> You're planning on 13 2? Uh, yeah, but this time it'll be good. Was it? I don't Actually, know if I. It was. It was better you're, than the first. You're one. the only person I know in the world <laughs> that has played it. It was better than the you're first. You're also the only person in the world I know that's played Lightning Returns, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> it's not as good. <laughs> oh, man. No, but like, the second one was pretty fun because you only had two human characters. Well, hold on. This is No Man's Sky, David. We I'm gotta, just, no, I'm we gotta defending- stay on topic. I'm defending I, it real you quick. You can defend it all you want. I never said anything bad about it. You're defending it for no reason. And that <laughs> makes me feel like it's not a good game. <laughs> Unless I you're talking about 10-2, because then I know. You don't have to defend tactics. It speaks for itself. They remade it into something more cinematic and awesome for the PSP for a reason. And just as annoying halfway through. Uh, I I lost my save file, so I didn't go back continue playing it. I have the PSP version on my PSP. I had it and Crisis Core. Those are the only two PSP games I owned. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Does, does uh, Quotes Goblin or anybody else have any more questions? I, I, know, I know I've covered a lot. So I don't know how much I've left. I don't. I honestly like. Like I said, I wasn't really big on the hype train, so I don't know what all it was really missing. Other oh, um, multiplayer. Uh, yes. So there is multiplayer. It is so somewhat limited and also not, in a sense. So you can connect with friends up to I think five of you totaled, uh, and be able to see each other and interact with each other, like with emotes and stuff. There is emotes and stuff. Beyond that, like with the community event. You see orb lights that are the other people. Hmm. So you can't see their shift. Can or, you interact with orb light? Uh, yeah, you can. Um, like so there's when I was running around on that planet, I could hear people talking through mics and stuff like that. <laughs> um, like people that were clearly nowhere near me because I was like in my spaceship hovering above the world. Um, hmm. So and like there might need to be some system. some. I don't know like what kind of controller that they have for like distance audio and stuff like that. Um, but also, like, there's a chat to chat with them. So, like, you could you could technically do stuff. I don't know what the limitation of the interaction is because I didn't try. I was trying to find a monolith to take a picture of. Okay. I just know that. I remember that was something. I guess I should have asked somebody. <laughs> huh. I just remember that was something that we were promised and it was not well, there. Technically, like, so that one was a weird one because I've looked at the notes from what um, like what they had promised in that. They didn't say that there would actually be multiplayer. They suggested that it was the same universe for everybody. That's fair. Like he didn't he never said they would actually be able to multiplayer. He just kind of hinted that it would be a possibility. Maybe but he also had a really working. bad way of over promising things because he was excited about it. Yeah. And I kind of understand that. But at the same time, like don't promise things that you don't know you're actually going to be able to do, especially on that type of thing. Like in real life with real people, like, yeah, okay. If I tell you I was planning on doing something this weekend and I don't get to it because my car breaks down or because anything, literally anything, anything. you're going to be like, okay, well, I understand that. Yeah, whatever. You know, it happens. Unless it's something important, then you might get upset at me or whatever. But typically I'm not going to do, I'm not going to skip out on doing something important unless there's a good reason. Yeah. Um, with something like a video game where you're talking about press talks and, and interviews and stuff like that, you don't just sometimes get, get too excited yeah. about it and then um, give away everything that happens in Spider-Man or the next Avengers movie. <laughs> There's the reason they don't <laughs> give Tom Holland full scripts. Okay? Not just Tom Holland. True. They didn't give him a seat with Avengers 4. I know Tom Holland didn't get him get a full script he just got a page or x number of pages a day so did mark ruffalo so did elizabeth olsen and uh roadie oh i can see him being a talker (laughs) he was only given (laughs) 
I could see I could see Rowdy being too much of a talker sometimes. Normally they have him with Mark. I can't remember his name. Mark, What's his name? Um He's probably one of those people that like if he's by himself, he might talk too much, but if he's with somebody who could talk too much, he's gonna be Don aware of what they're saying. Don Cheadle. Yes. I love Don Cheadle. But yeah, they he normally they have him paired with Ruffalo to keep Ruffalo from talking. <laughs> The one that I'm surprised is able to keep as close lipped as he is is Jeremy Renner. I was I was thought you were gonna say Tom Holland. I'm like that's because there's a frog in there. <laughs> um, no, so so yeah, we have we have multiplayer. We have honestly, I would say we have the right kind of multiplayer for what game this is without demanding too much of the game itself. So I, they about, might be planning on any, expanding like, it PvP beyond five kind of stuff, or is it all just PvE? Uh, I think you can pvp with the people that are real corporal there okay i don't know that though so i can't guarantee anything honestly it's not a fucking combat game yeah it's not something- nothing about that game is comfortable when it comes to combat that's one of the things that it like, does need minecraft was much more comfortable to me than no man's sky well it's just like <laughs> on a controller like the controls are a little bit like the aiming control primarily is a little too floaty. No matter what I do for the sensitivity, it's a little too floaty for me to to really enjoy having to kill a sentinel that can laser me no matter where I'm standing, you know? Yeah. I mean, like I said, like I can't move and shoot like I do in like Halo or something like that in I order was, to avoid being hit. I just have to like put on a fucking shield and yeah. hope I don't die before it does. Yeah. I, it turns out being like a a wild western shootout like i'm just going to stand here and shoot until one of us is dead yeah, one of us going to die hopefully you but yeah i like minecraft was more comfortable to me for combat than no man's sky but no man's sky was wildly prettier well yeah minecraft dropped. wasn't made to be pretty it was made to be functional ooh <laughs> I, <what>? ooh <laughs> i just, look who <laughs> out of the two which one did it hit 99% on <laughs> okay i'm just saying and out of and 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 even considering that you can still make things look good in it at you a distance can. you you definitely can't at a distance <laughs> maybe not close if you, well i mean like if you have the right when skin, you get close enough mods. you can see that the roof is actually stairs then it gets a little eh. <laughs> It looks better at a distance. It it does look better at a distance. I will agree with that. But they're making a lot of improvements on that game too. Yes. Honestly, they I are. in a weird way I like uh the the direction it's gone since Microsoft took it. Because up till then it was like a, we're going to add a new type of stone. We added three new types of stone. It was like the most you would hear about it in like a year's time. Yeah. And it was just like I really wish they would, you know, do like we have this three new stones that they added. But it's just it or polished. You can't make it into stairs. You can't make it into. Oh yeah, but they're really focusing on they're focusing on in in uh, invigorating the the biomes like subculture. Yeah, like um, the last the underwater one, one was a huge water update. Uh, I don't know if that's the last one I did. Yeah, because one before that was the colors and stuff. Yep. Um. So they're they're, they're really just giant like skeletons out in the desert. Oh yeah, and there's ice. Uh, there's polar bears. Um, there's ice formations on the ocean, mm-hmm. which are fucking creepy. If you've never seen them, I have. I've. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I found a. Uh, uh, do you remember us accidentally finding that first uh, underwater temple? <laughs> you mean where we died immediately because <laughs> there was a guardian? We didn't die immediately. We were freaking out for a few we, seconds. We tried and to, then we died. And then we and then we tried to bury it in sand. <laughs> God. It wasn't I mean, i I still look, it was my plan to begin with, and I still I contest still like that it was not worked. a bad plan. Okay. Anyway, we've worked. gotten we've gotten way off topic yeah. and it's about time to wrap this up anyway. So um so, so tell comparing- me tell me how wrong I am about No Man's Sky or tell me how right I am. More than likely, you're going to be more negative about it because a lot of people were peeved about, uh, about it, and I completely I was, understand that. I, I was one of the very upset, and I've been contemplating picking it back up because of what I've seen. And what I've told you. Yeah, and what you've said. Yeah, um, yeah man, like you should definitely see if it's still on your shelf. Well... I suppose that's the end of the episode. Please like, comment, follow, and share. And also, more importantly, thank you for listening. Take care. Bye!